Now that's better. Stone lifting the Stanley Cup. Yeah! Let's go! Go, let's go! Why? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, he's gorgeous. I never thought I'd see that in a hockey game. Hey guys, in case you couldn't tell, I'm already behind because the Sharks game already happened, but I'm gonna go through this Blues game real quick because I wanna do one after every single game. I just forgot that between video and editing, school and uh, being a parent, <laughs> it's just a lot. So this Blues game, nearly perfect win for us, 5-1 in St. Louis in regulation, scoring right off the bat for your Vegas Golden Knights, uh, Shea Theodore. Theodore, yeah, Shea Theodore. That is Jonathan Marcheseau's 200th point as a member of the Golden Knights, and he's the first player to achieve that marker. Shea Theodore hasn't looked the same the last 10 games, doesn't have as much presence offensively, and then defensively had been struggling as well over the past several games, but after getting this goal, the rest of the game, his overall game improved. I think it was just an added confidence booster for him, and so that was really, really cool to see. Throughout that first and second period, it was mostly a goalie battle between Fleury and Husso, and uh, although Husso led him one early, he was phenomenal against really good opportunities from us. Man, Flurry just as phenomenal through the first two. Just fantastic, some of these saves that Flurry was making. Good job, Flurry. Play, stole it from Tuck. Tarasenko. <laughs> Flurry! Wow, that was close. One weird thing in the second. No, 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 no. Get that out of your mouth. Huso, the Blues goalie, came out to catch the puck that was shot up high and it was like coming down and he went out about halfway to the blue line to catch it and gloved it and did not play it. I didn't realize that that was a penalty. Raise your hand if you learned that today. This was actually asked by Lillian. This is the rule directly from the rule book. On a goalkeeper who races out of his crease in an attempt to beat the attacking player to the puck and instead of playing the puck, jumps on the puck, causing a stoppage of play, that will be delay of game. The more you know. Oh, yeah, other thing. There was a fight in the first period. Dakota Johnson versus Keegan Kolazar fight. Joshua and Kolazar. Man, this is Kolazar's second fight. Fight, 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 fight. About halfway through the season, and who would have thought that Kolazar would be leading us in fights? To start off this third, Stone passes it over to Theodore, who slaps this thing. Huso makes the initial save, but the rebound goes so far out because of how hard he shot it that it goes right to the captain, Mark Stone's stick, and he buries it, making it 2 0. Stone bats it down, looking across the patch, ready to drive, and a blocker's. Yeah! Mark Stone! Oh my goodness. Yo, look at that! I'm on TV! <laughs> However, a couple minutes later, the Blues answer right back with one of their own because of Martinez doing... What the heck was that? Martinez, what are you doing? I'm not sure exactly. You can see right here that he's supposed to be on Blay, and he does until he thinks that he needs to help out Stevenson with this pinch in the boards, but Sammy Blay wide open gets this pass flurry over his shoulder to make it two to one. But Vegas does not let up. Wow, what a pass from Stevenson. Yeah, Max Pass ready. Oh my goodness. Then Flurry just absolutely standing on his head, being the penalty kill for a five on three that was like a minute long. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe that didn't go in. I Flurry! Amazing work on this penalty kill from everyone, but especially from Flurry making tremendous saves. Flurry is nuts. Oh my goodness. Kill of the year. Uh, Mark Stone with a little backhand wraparound that goes through the bottom of the net. Stone rolls off the wall, a wraparound chance, he scores! Really? The net was up and that puck went in. And then the Blues. Wow, they just pulled Huso with four minutes left. And I think collectively as a fan base, we had one thing on our mind. And oddly enough, it was not Stone getting a hat trick. Earlier in the season, Pat McAfee challenged him that if he could get a goal this year, that he would give $100,000 to a charity of Flurry's Choice. And a bunch of other people have jumped in on this, offering donations as well towards the same thing. And with five minutes, you would have thought that he would have had at least one chance, but not at all. His number one priority was making the save. 
waves and he made a lot in this short amount of time. Come on, come on. A barrage of pucks from the Blues for four and a half minutes until Tuck finally grabs the puck and shoots it. Uh, okay. Ending a three game pointless streak for Tuck. Oh, that was a perfect game. Nearly perfect game. Even though this was a nearly perfect win, there were a couple of things that I'd like to talk about. One being Martinez not doing whatever he just did in that game. Two, the refs, <laughs> again. Man, the refs are not calling anything at all this game. From Blues Fan Reacts, that's how you can tell that it's not biased. Refs are not calling a fair game. Blues have gotten away with at least five. Yeah, Vegas had two power plays in the second and we didn't do anything with them. Like, that was it. And there were some calls that were just blatantly missed. You're gonna have games like that, and thankfully it didn't really impact the outcome of this one. I'm thinking with back-to-backs from now on, I do something shorter like this. That's gonna be it for game 25's nightly review. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.